Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a hazy slash foggy slash matte image in Photoshop. I have three different ways that I do this and the first way is with curves. Uh, this image is straight out of camera. I haven't done anything to it except import it into Photoshop. So we're going to get our curves layer and this quadrant down here is our shadows and this quadrant up here is our highlights. Now here in the shadows at the very end I'm going to drag this up and in my highlights at the very end I'm going to drag it down. Now this is basically all you do for your hazy image but when I use a curves layer to create this effect I like to use another curves layer and right here where this um, where it shows your shadows in the shadow quadrant I like to drag this down to add more depth and a tiny bit more contrast and darkness in the blacks so it doesn't look so washed out. But it does depend on my image and the effect that I'm going for. If I wanted it to be super washed out or if you want it to be super washed out slash foggy slash hazy, then you would not use another curves. But you can also play with the opacity so it's not as intense and the same with the original hazy layer. And that is how you create hazy effect with curves. Now my second way that I like to create hazy images is with levels. So you're going to get your levels layer and here in the middle there's three different little sliders. And in the middle one, I like to drag this one to the left. And down here on the bottom one, I slide the uh, light or whites to my left also. And here my darks, uh, blacks, or shadows, I like to bring this to the right. And that is another way to create a hazy slash foggy slash um, matte image. And you can also use a curves layer like I did with my curves layer, a <laughs> lot of repetition, but, um, and bring this down and even bring it up a tiny bit in the highlights or my lights to add some contrast back in. And it's not going to get rid of the haze. It does kind of diminish the effect a little bit, but really it's about your personal preference and it's about each image because each image, your lighting is different, your setup is different, and one may not look as good throughout all of your images as it does on the first image that you use it on. So that is levels, and that is the second way. Now my third and final way to create the hazy effect is with my exposure layer. Now I'm going to be working with the offset and the gamma correction sliders. I start with my offset slider and I slide it to the right as much or as little as you want. If you do it just slightly, you can see the difference, but I like to take it quite a bit. Now I go down to my gamma correction and I slide this one to the right also. And you can do this as much as you want. You can create super dark matte images. Now for me this is too much, but you could bring down your offset even more. Really it's all about personal preference or however you want to do it. And I think I'm going to do mine about right there. Now sometimes I think the exposure layer is the easiest and sometimes the best way to create the hazy look because of the gamma correction. I think it makes the most realistic kind of matte blacks. But really, like I've said before, it just depends on your image and the look that you're going for. And of course you can add your curves layers um, and fix the lighting however you want. And add in even more haze. Really, it's all about how you want your image. But those are three different ways that I create the hazy slash foggy slash matte look in my images. And I hope that this tutorial was helpful. 
And if you have any recommendations or requests for tutorials or videos, let me know and I'll do my best to get those to you.